How's it going guys? So yeah, I made another mod. If you're new to the channel, normally we showcase other people's mods in Skyrim and Fallout 4, but today I'm going to be showing you my second ever mod. I'm gonna try to keep this video from going on too long because this video is not only for those of you who regularly watch the content here, but it's also doubling down as sort of a trailer for the mod itself. I'm not gonna spoil everything for you, but I'll show you enough to get a feel for it and show you a little bit of behind the scenes images that didn't make it into the final mod if you're interested in that. So if you've been watching the recent content, you know that I've been covering a lot of play or home mods over the last several videos. I always enjoy player home mods and decided to make one for myself, but not only a player home, but one with a little backstory. Again, I'm super new to modding, but I definitely think this mod is more polished than the small dungeon I put out before. The player home is located right here on the map just above Riverwood. It features a lengthy staircase, a modest exterior, and an added cliff for a beautiful view. And I mean beautiful. Also beware for vanilla wildlife that will easily sneak up on you. This kitty cat literally made me jump out of my seat. After entering, you'll quickly notice a strange scene, and yes, you can sit on those weird chairs. There's a note from the previous owner, and I won't read the whole thing now, but basically, dwarven spiders have been attacking the house, even killing his wife, whom he buried in the basement. The man found the caves where the spiders were coming from, and said that you could have the home if he did not return from his revenge mission. There's a little more to it, but that's the summary, and uh, spoil alert, he didn't make it. You do have access to the basement where you'll find some helpful items and the place where the wife was laid to rest. And no, this house isn't haunted, just abandoned. Fun fact, the note originally had a picture of the wife, so there she is. If you're subscribed to the channel, then that picture probably looks familiar. There was also originally an attached picture of a spider on the first note, but in order to get that into the final mod, you have to pack a BSA file and upload separate files and stress that people download separate files, and I didn't feel like messing with all that. To be honest, I don't even know if you can completely do that on console, so I just got rid of it and made it easier on everybody. You have a bed, storage, everything you need for your cozy new house. There is no official quest that will come up with this mod. One, because it really doesn't need a quest, and two, if I had a quest, then it wouldn't be PS4 compatible, and I always want to try to include everybody when I can, so yeah, without saying, this mod is available on all platforms, and the mod links will be down in the description. Shout out to 8ball as well, I can only test my mods on Xbox One and PC, I do not have a PS4, so he was able to test my previous mod on PS4 and let me know of a big issue that was actually preventing the whole dungeon from showing up, so shout out to him, without him I would have never known and I would have never been able to fix it. So I'd love to hear feedback from all of you, but if you're on PS4, definitely let me know of any issues because I will not know otherwise. Finally, on this mod you can head just north of the house to find the abandoned cave, the source location of all these spiders. I won't spoil the cave, but I will say Say that you should be around level 25 if you decide to head inside and challenge those pesky spiders. It is a very small cave with tight quarters so be prepared. Another fun fact, the boss or leader I should say gives you 500 gold for defeating him. That's in celebration of the channel recently reaching 500 subscribers here on YouTube. So if you want bigger gold prizes in future mods, be sure to subscribe to the channel so that can happen. Again, if you're new, normally we showcase and put the spotlight on other people's mods, the talented people who actually know what they're doing, and if that content interests you, then come check us out. We have a community that's going stronger by the day. It would love to have you join in. Any comments or questions, leave them down below, and if you enjoyed today's content, leave it a like and subscribe for more Skyrim SE and Fallout 4 console modding content. As always, thank you guys for watching. Slayer, signing out.